Ever found yourself lost in a kaleidoscope of sound where music takes on a different dimension? That's the distinctive allure of psychedelic music, a genre that has shaped the soundscape of the music industry in intriguing and profound ways. Picture a world where music isn't just heard, but it's experienced, felt, and perceived through a prism of color and emotion. That's the psychedelic realm, a place where the rules of traditional music are bent and reshaped into something extraordinarily vibrant and immersive. In this exploration, we'll journey through the swirling vortex of psychedelic music, touching upon its fascinating origins, the key characteristics that define its unique sound, and the influential bands and albums that have left an indelible mark on the genre. We'll also delve into the ripple effects of psychedelic sounds on other music genres, demonstrating its far-reaching impact. So sit back, open your senses, and join us on this sonic journey as we dive into the colorful history and influence of psychedelic music. Psychedelic music didn't just appear out of the blue, it was a product of its time. The 60s, a decade marked by tremendous societal changes and countercultural movements, served as a fertile ground for the genesis of psychedelic music. It was an era of exploration, both in the physical world and within the mind's vast landscape. This exploration was fueled in part by the widespread use of psychedelic substances, such as LSD and psilocybin mushrooms. Psychedelic music was the sonic expression of these experiences, an auditory journey into the mind's unchartered territories. The genre was a radical departure from the conventional music of the time, as it sought to replicate and enhance the psychedelic experience. One pivotal moment in the history of psychedelic music was the Summer of Love in 1967. This event, which took place in San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury district, was a gathering of young people drawn to the counterculture's ideals of love, peace, and freedom. The music that permeated the air during this summer was characterized by its exploratory nature, long improvisational passages and exotic instrumentation, all hallmarks of the psychedelic genre. Two years later, in 1969, the Woodstock Music Festival would further cement the place of psychedelic music in the cultural zeitgeist. This iconic event, which attracted hundreds of thousands of attendees, featured performances by some of the era's most influential psychedelic bands, including The Grateful Dead, Jefferson Airplane, and Jimi Hendrix. The music played at Woodstock not only reflected the countercultural ethos of the time but also helped shape it, influencing countless listeners and musicians. These key events, among others, played a significant role in the development and propagation of psychedelic music. They provided the platform for the genre to reach a wider audience, thereby ensuring its enduring influence on popular music. Thus, in a time of great change and exploration, psychedelic music was born, providing a soundtrack for a generation. Psychedelic music is like a trip, a journey into the mind filled with vivid soundscapes. A musical genre that emerged in the mid-20th century, psychedelic music, is characterized by its ability to evoke an altered state of consciousness. But what are the key characteristics that make psychedelic music, well psychedelic? First and foremost, psychedelic music is known for its long, exploratory tracks. Unlike conventional song structures that adhere to the verse-chorus-verse pattern, psychedelic songs often stretch out, meandering through various musical territories. These extended jams can last anywhere from a few minutes to over half an hour, providing an expansive canvas for musicians to experiment and listeners to lose themselves in. Then, there's the instrumentation. Psychedelic music employs a wide array of musical instruments, many of which fall outside the traditional rock setup. From sitars and tablas to synthesizers and theremins, these unconventional instruments add an extra layer of exoticism and intrigue to the music. They help to create a distinctive sound palette that sets psychedelic music apart from other genres. Now, let's talk about effects. Psychedelic music makes extensive use of audio effects such as reverb and delay. These effects give the music a dreamy, echoey quality, as if the sound is bouncing around in a vast cavernous space. Alongside these, you'll often find the use of phase shifting, distortion and looping, all contributing to the creation of oral illusions that can be both disorienting and mesmerizing. Lastly, psychedelic music is characterized by its immersive nature. This is music that doesn't just want to be heard, it wants to be experienced. The combination of long exploratory songs, unique instrumentation and extensive use of effects creates a soundscape that envelops the listener, drawing them into a world of sound that's as vibrant and unpredictable as a dream. In essence, psychedelic music is a sonic adventure, a trip into the unknown. It's about exploration and experimentation, 
about pushing boundaries and challenging perceptions. It's a genre that invites us to lose ourselves in the music and in doing so, perhaps find something new within ourselves. These elements combine to create the unique immersive sound that defines psychedelic music. Psychedelic music gave rise to some of the most iconic bands and albums in history. This genre's vibrant tapestry would be incomplete without the mention of the Beatles, the Grateful Dead and Pink Floyd, bands that not only shaped the sound of the 60s but also left an indelible mark on the music industry. Let's start with the Beatles. A band that needs no introduction, they propelled psychedelic music into mainstream consciousness with their groundbreaking album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Released in 1967, it was a kaleidoscopic whirl of innovative production techniques, quirky lyrics and eastern influences that encapsulated the psychedelic ethos perfectly. On the other side of the Atlantic, we had the Grateful Dead. Rising from the San Francisco counterculture, they became the torchbearers of the American psychedelic movement. Known for their epic live performances filled with extended improvisational segments, the Grateful Dead's music was a trip in itself. Their self-titled debut album, released in 1967, is a testament to their unique sound and ethos. Then there's Pink Floyd. This British band took the psychedelic soundscape to a whole new level. Their debut album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn, released in 1967, is a tour de force of whimsical lyrics, spacey melodies and innovative studio techniques. Led by the enigmatic Sid Barrett, Pink Floyd pushed the boundaries of what psychedelic music could be. These bands not only defined the psychedelic era but also left an indelible mark on the music industry. Their influence can still be heard in the music we listen to today, proof of the enduring legacy of psychedelic rock. They dared to dream, to experiment, and in doing so, they changed the face of music forever. These bands and albums not only defined the psychedelic era but also left an indelible mark on the music industry. Psychedelic music didn't just stay in the 60s, it echoed through the decades, influencing numerous other genres. As the psychedelic wave rippled outwards, it washed over the shores of progressive rock. Bands like Yes Genesis and King Crimson took the experimentation and freeform structures of psychedelic music to new heights, crafting sprawling compositions that were as complex as they were captivating. But it wasn't just about complexity for complexity's sake. The heart of psychedelic music, the exploration of consciousness and the breaking down of boundaries, was still beating strong. Then came punk. On the surface, punk and psychedelic music couldn't be more different. Punk was raw, direct, and confrontational. While psychedelic music was often intricate and introspective. But dig a little deeper, and you'll find a common thread. Both genres were born out of a desire to challenge the status quo, to shake up the establishment. And in their own way, both punk and psychedelic music sought to create a space for authenticity and individual expression. But the influence of psychedelic music doesn't stop at rock music. Even electronic music, a genre that might seem worlds away from the guitar-driven sounds of the 60s, owes a debt to psychedelic music. Artists like Aphex Twin and Boards of Canada have incorporated the mind-expanding ethos of psychedelic music into their work, using technology to push the boundaries of what music can be. Today, the influence of psychedelic music can be heard in all corners of the music world, from the neo-psychedelia of Tame Impala to the psychedelic hip-hop of Flying Lotus. It's in the hazy dream pop of Beach House, the swirling electronica of MGMT, and the cosmic jazz of Kamasi Washington. It's in the songs that make us think, the songs that make us feel, the songs that transport us to other dimensions. From its countercultural roots to its widespread influence, psychedelic music has left a colorful, enduring legacy in the world of music. So, what's the takeaway from this psychedelic journey? We've traveled through the vibrant origins of psychedelic music, exploring its roots in the countercultural movements of the 60s. We've delved into the distinct characteristics that define this genre, such as extended instrumental solos, experimental sounds, and surreal lyrics that transport us to a kaleidoscopic realm. We've celebrated the key bands and albums that have shaped the psychedelic music scene, from the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band to Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon. And we've observed its profound influence on other genres, from rock and pop to electronic and hip-hop. Psychedelic music, a genre born from a desire for exploration and experimentation, has left an indelible mark on the wider music industry. Its vibrant legacy continues to inspire artists and listeners alike. Whether you're a fan of psychedelic music or